Hey, what is up guys, Bonfiggy here, and today I'm bringing you guys another 122 kill game. It's a little bit different than yesterday's gameplay. I think I uploaded another 122 kill game yesterday on Drone, and I remember the comments here, I said it was on Overflow for some reason. I don't even know what I was thinking, but this one's on Raid, and I was using a little bit different kill streak setup. This one's a little bit more entertaining because it's more gun kills. I wasn't in the user control kill streaks or whatever, but what I want to talk about today is how to get a 100 plus kill gamer, kind of just maximize the most amount of kills that you can get a game because I'm I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that have already gotten a 100 plus kill game because honestly they're not that difficult it does take a lot of luck and this is one of the most luck based call of duties to date because as you guys know there's always random stuff that can happen but it's just so much that can happen in this game and i know it's not even has death streaks or anything like that but it's just random stuff like hunter killer drones can come raining down on you something like that so this does take a little bit of luck to do but i want to give you guys a little bit of a guide to get the most amount of kills in the game so you can either have two play styles rushing or playing passive now playing passive usually gets your streaks a lot easier but it does take longer to get your streaks so that's one way to go about doing it if you cannot get your kill streaks but if you're a rusher you like running around and I think that's the best play style because it's just more fun to play like that it's a little bit more entertaining for myself so uh, that's just what I would recommend you guys do rush but you have to get used to rushing you have to kind of adapt to that play style if you're not that used to it but it does help you get your kill streaks a lot faster because you can pretty much be wherever you want on the map you just gotta kind of think it through where you're gonna go and what route you're gonna take so that's always things you have to keep in mind but you want to be also using the best class up and I actually have a best class setup video for you guys upload on my channel but my opinions have changed a little bit since then so I'm probably going to be uploading another one later tonight as the bonus video and by the way guys if this video gets to 400 likes I'll be uploading that video right away that's just a way so you can get a little bit earlier and so far I've kept my word I've been keeping up with these videos for you guys and it's really cool actually it kind of motivates me a lot so I want to say thank you but yeah if this video gets 400 likes I'll upload that bonus class setup video right away but when you are going for a 100 plus kill game or just as many kills as you want to get you want to be using the best class setup obviously and in my opinion I like using the MP7 it's just one of my favorite guns but if it's a bigger map you want to be using an assault rifle like the M8A1 that thing is a monster I would recommend you guys check that out or the AN94 both really good assault rifles and you also want to be thinking about what kill streak loadout you're going to be using if it's a map like raid meltdown drone or turbine the wide open maps where people don't really have many places to go I recommend using the load star than the V warship and the swarm because those are all pretty much air supports and they can pretty much rain down on the enemy as they don't have anywhere to go so that's what I would recommend going with and that works so good on drone as you guys saw I think I was using in my yesterday's gameplay I think I was using that but instead of swarm I was using dogs which isn't a bad thing it was on the map drone and there's some buildings that they can go in but basically the whole point of the dogs why you would want to use those is if there's places where the enemies can hide the dogs will pretty much take them out of the buildings and get them in a spawn trap where your swarm can pretty much rain down on them as you guys see in this gameplay I'm using the blackbird dogs and then the swarm and it works really well together the blackbird it's not too hard to get because it's a lower score streak you can get them pretty fast and once you pick up your blackbird as long as you play smart you pretty much always can get up to your swarm so that's what I like to use sometimes that's better for a map that has some buildings for people to go in and then you call in your dogs and swarm usually around the same time and what will happen is your dogs will basically kill all the people in the buildings while your swarm kills the people that are just spawning in so they kind of work together and it helps out a lot I would really recommend you guys screw around with the kill streak see what you can find that works best for you guys but uh yeah guys I'm gonna throw on a song here in a minute and it's only for like a minute and a half because I go absolutely ham at the end of this gameplay I really recommend you guys watch it all the way through because it's pretty crazy I think I get like two sets of kill streaks in about a minute and a half so make sure you guys watch the end of the video hope you did enjoy and again if we can hit 400 likes in this video bonus video for you guys right away just a way for you guys to get the videos a little bit quicker and I'm probably going to be doing an updated class setup video then I'll have some more 100 plus kill games out for you guys tomorrow most likely so hope you guys did enjoy please subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the rest of the video guys peace out